I also forgot. Whoa. Whoa. So, as I'm sure you are aware, I am in the beautiful Namibia. It's absolutely gorgeous here, but it's also a very diverse country. And I'm here doing landscapes and wildlife. So I thought I would run you through what I've brought with me, why I've brought it with me, and I suppose how I brought it with me. Shooting landscapes and wildlife requires some serious hardware. So we'll just jump straight into this and start with the big guns. This is a Canon 200 to 400 F4 lens, but it has a built-in 1.4 extender. Super sharp, super heavy, massive, super, super, super expensive lens, very specialist. But don't worry, it's not mine. I don't think I could afford one of these. I just borrowed it, um, but yeah, fantastic lens. Moving on now, 100 to 400. I brought this as a backup. This is a 100 400 f5.6. And I thought this might be good if this is too big and I can't, you know, I can't wield it around or maybe if I can't even get it through the airport, I've got this as a backup. But after having spent some time with this 100 to 400, this is a superb lens. I seriously want this lens. It's not mine, I borrowed it, but I want it. It's so sharp from 100 all the way to 400. Super, super sharp, super fast. The IS on it is amazing. And it's just a top lens. Never thought that I would need such a lens, but actually I've used it a lot more for landscapes than I have for wildlife, so a brilliant lens. And I have with me my trusty 24 to 70, which is for landscapes, obviously. And then what, what you're sitting on there, that camera is my Canon 5D Mark IV, 16 to 35 F4, and my Manfrotto tripod. Uh, so yeah, a lot of hardware, a lot of gear. This is my Canon G5X, which is really is on its last legs, but this is like a tank. This has served me well. This is what I use for vlogging. Has the flip out screen, has a fixed lens, but does a decent job. Easy just to grab and go. Um, and Namibia's dusty, sandy, windy. So you need, you need one of these. This is a, a good old blower, a bit of, what's this? Clear leaf filter lens cleaner and a, a lens cloth uh, these you need these a lot <laughs> it's 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 so dusty here it's unbelievable um right what else do i have for vlogging i have a gopro on this little gimbal this is just a gimbal i bought from amazon it's just well, there's loads of them just just search for gopro gimbal and it just gives me lovely smooth tracking shots that adds a bit more of a cinematic feel and it's a great substitute for when you don't have a drone and i don't have my drone because it's totally illegal to fly it in all the national parks and obviously you're not going to fly it around wildlife so i brought the gimbal just to add that extra cinematic touch um, i also have this this is a gopro suction mount um, and i mount this in the car when shooting wildlife because it's so difficult to film myself shooting wildlife. So this was one thing I tried. Filters. Um, actually in Namibia, I've not needed them really. Bag full of batteries, spare batteries. Bag, wallet thing, full of memory cards. You need loads of spare memory cards. So let me get rid of these. Um, whoa, whoa, is my GoPro broken? Cheap cable release. These, these are like three or four pounds off Amazon and they've served me so well. People ask what cable release. I've never, I don't like the big Canon ones. They're like 100 odd quid and they're massive. And they're just, you just don't need them. Five or something, easy. Um, I've got my laptop. It's just a MacBook Pro 15 inch, uh, 2015 model, not one of the new ones. And a hard drive. Backing up is essential. I back up everything. I never delete memory cards when I'm on the road. I shoot with dual memory cards in the 5D and then I drag the footage and my images onto this and everything is safe and sound. Um, that's just pretty much it. The last thing I've got is my bag. This is this is my tank. This is my Low Pro Pro Runner 450. I've had this for years and years and years and years and it really is falling to pieces, but it's still hanging on. It's still going strong. I'm starting to think that although it, it looks like it's falling to pieces, it's not, it's just weathered. But this is the only bag I have that would fit this lens. So that's why I have this bag. Um, and I love the bag anyway, I really do. It just, it just holds everything you could ever need and fits on an airplane just about. So what 
how did I get all this to Namibia? Because I struggled, and I know a lot of people struggle with this. Now, what I would normally say, or what I used to say, is don't worry about it. Nobody weighs your hand luggage, but everybody, all the companies are now starting to weigh hand, hand luggage, hand baggage. And I think, don't quote me on this, I think the limit is six kilos. I think this weighs about six kilos. So um, I, I, I took a risk. I, I was driving to the airport and I was parking at the airport, right? So this comes with a flight case. So I put the flight case in the boot of my car at the airport and then I put all of my gear in this bag and I hopped, skipped and jumped to check in. So it looks like I was really lightweight and carrying a super featherweight bag when in fact it probably weighed in at least 15 or 16 kilos. Now my plan was if they weighed my bag and told me to, you know, check it, which I would never do. Um, I was just gonna return to my car, put this in the flight case, and just use this lens, which actually wouldn't have been a bad thing. Um, but I really wanted this. So I had I had a plan B. Okay, my plan B was to pop this in the boot of my car, uh, which would have been perfectly safe in an airport car park, and just take this, which would have been fine. Um, but yeah, I, I got away with it. I did. I managed to get all of this onto the airplane. Now, I don't know what's going to happen coming back, but to be honest, I'm not concerned about coming back because that would just be, you know, I would be more concerned about going and not having, not being able to take all my gear, but now my shoot's done, so I'm, I'm kind of a bit more relaxed about going back. But um, mark my words, taking heavy gear in your hand baggage is a risk, okay? And there are ways you can get around it. I put my anything that's non-valuable, non-breakable, such as filters, batteries, memory cards, GoPros, all that sort of stuff, I put in my suitcase well, well protected. Um, but for the real hardware and the glass, you just have to take a risk. If you're interested in anything I use, just, just look in the description because it's all listed there. Right, okay, I'm gonna go and enjoy a bit of lunch and a bit of relaxation before another sunset shoot here in Namibia. I also forgot, whoa, whoa, <laughs> that is, <how. laughs> oh dear. Okay, I also forgot um, to mention this. This is my Zoom H1 audio recorder. This is what I record all of my audio on for my vlogs. Um, yes, it's a pain recording audio separately, but the microphone on this thing is so terrible, I would never even consider using it. And as well as that, it's the wind that's the main problem and I have this little this little fluffy thing on here and that means that I'm able to record good audio in windy conditions and I'm also able to record audio away from the camera which is great when setting the scene or showing context. So yeah, definitely uh, a great addition to my vlogging kit if you will. Right, I'm definitely going now. Bye bye.